okay thank you thank you aron and hello everyone i'm so delighted to to get the opportunity to present here today um both, my, both myself and the, and the team um I will use the coming minutes to um, to talk a little bit about my background and my experience um, for Huntis. I have uh, the foundation uh, in, in education is, is a bachelor in sports science, uh, a diploma as a PE teacher, and then moving on uh, later to um, education through a Swedish sport confederation to elite coach. Uh, and then in the end also some leadership program uh, together with the World Athletics. I've been, uh, I'm, I come from a, a work as a director at um, the Regional Athletics Association in, in Gothenburg. Uh, it's a quite strong association because we are hosting some really big events. Uh, one half, half uh, marathon that is one of the biggest in the world uh, and also some TV broadcasted athletics um, competitions and galas so um, so the last uh, five years i've been focusing in sports development big events broadcast partner rela relations and and leading a small group of um, of professional um, in this department but i have a background in orienteering uh, i was working for seven years uh, at um, in gothenburg at the regional orienteering association uh, it was the same time where we were hosting some of the major events in uh, at inside IOF actually, World Masters, World Cups, um, and also I was a bit involved in the World Championships in Sweden. So uh, so I've, I've been through both both let's say my own sport world and and other sport worlds so to say. I've done quite much voluntary work during the years uh, i try to count but it's yeah almost every position when it comes to organizing uh, so i've been event organizer i'm been a course setter i run the timing uh, i worked i helped as a team coach uh, in my in the club that i'm kind of a, a former athlete nowadays uh, in if Göteborg. and then of course serving in different committees and boards and so on so uh, so um, yeah, I tried almost everything, <laughs> even anti-doping chaperone. <laughs> so, um, as I mentioned, I, I have a background in orienteering. I've been competing uh, at a you know reasonable high level, uh, first team for uh, for uh, the big relays uh, and so on, um, and uh, also been around uh, in almost all countries in Europe at least. And, and some more. So uh, just over 35 I've counted it too. So uh, that's that's one thing I really enjoy about this opportunity with this work to be able to connect back to uh, to regions and countries and people that I've met through the years. So that's really lovely. Uh, I'm based in Gothenburg, Sweden. Uh, it's uh, on the west coast in Sweden. It's it's approximately three hours train drive to to uh, all the the Nordic capital and has a, has a lot of connections uh, directly with flight as well. So that's that's a little about me. I uh, also have a, a small family with two kids uh, and a wife here in Gothenburg. This slide I will not talk so much because it's it's more about our internal responsibilities inside us uh, at the IOF and um i i put it here just to be to be so it will be in the will be in the presentation to be look, looking forward uh look look you can look to it in the end but but basically i'm i'm, I'm running the operational leadership i'm uh i'm head of the the event uh, re, uh the event and all the re event related issues uh and connected to that i also do the the contracts uh commercial partnerships and um, and then work really tight uh, against uh, media and TV and live streaming issues. But uh, for, for that, I also have help in the team, of course. Um, and 
as um, as a contact to to commissions. Uh, I'm the lead contact for all the discipline commissions and some of the support commissions. Um, there, of course, I had a lot of help from the, all of the team in, in the IOF office. Uh, but you will see when Sondra present later uh, that, that we, we have a split and it, it gives gives a more yeah more clear on who does who in in the internal uh, issues. So so um, in the end, uh, after Sondra has um, has spoken, uh, then we'll come back and, and look into a case. Okay, how does the IOF office look like uh, this year and how does the support and, and cooperation look together with the organizer uh, when VOC is the is example. So uh, I leave the word to Sandra. Thank you, Henrik, and uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to spend the evening together with you at this um, high level event seminar and uh, first I would just like to say to Aron, Helge and other contributors to this uh, seminar a big thank you to, to all of you. Uh, as Aron mentioned earlier I've been in the position as uh, Secretary General of the IOF now for four days having my first uh, week at work. It's been uh, challenging a lot uh, to learn but uh, we're getting there. So I will, as Henrik, share a bit about my background and I will also have a slide outlining some of my key responsibilities within the IOF. So if we go to the next slide, Henrik, uh, you can see uh, a bit about my uh, background. Uh, I have an education background uh, with a Master of Science and a Master of Business Administration from the Norwegian Business School. And for the last seven years, I worked as an associate and then a manager in a company called BDO Norway under the Department of Strategy and Development. And uh, here I have mainly been a consultant to sport organizations, both national organizations in Norway and event organizations like uh, Holmenkollen Ski Festival, but also to large uh, international federations internationally, mainly established in Switzerland. So uh, I can mention the, then UEFA, as it says here, and also a consultant to FIFA for a couple of years. As Henrik, I have also a background with a lot of uh, voluntary work. I'm currently also vice president of the Norwegian Olympic and Paralympic Committee and Confederation of Sports, and earlier been a board member at, in the same organization for about six years. I have also a background uh, from the Norwegian Orienteering Federation, been a board member for almost seven years earlier and not involved in uh, volunteer work in the Norwegian Orienteering Federation at the moment. But uh, I have earlier also been employed working on youth projects under the Norwegian Orienteering Federation. For a period of uh, two years, I've also been a chairman and turnaround CEO, secretary general of the Norwegian Cricket Federation on behalf of uh, NIF, the Norwegian Olympic and Paralympic Committee and Confederation of Sports. So that's just a bit of uh, some examples of volunteer work that I'm currently involved in and have been involved in earlier. Um, as Aron mentioned, I'm from Norway, currently based in uh, Oslo, the capital of Norway, and uh, I'm uh, running orienteering for uh, Bekkelag Sports Club. Earlier, bit at a quite decent level. Uh, these days, more competing at a recreational level, but uh, enjoying that a lot. If we go to the next slide, I will uh, just share with you a bit about uh, what is my responsibilities compared to Henrik's within the IOF. I hold the responsibility for executive support to council, member support and development, and member service, and taking care of government governance issues. I have the responsibility for global development projects and I'm the lead contact for the ethics panel and governance auditor. And I also hold the key overall responsibility for international partner contacts. And on the right side here, you can see that uh, I have the responsibility as lead contact for the following commission, commissions, the Environment and Sustainability Commission, 
Global Development Commission and also Athletes Commission. And uh, then I think that Henrik and I will share an example on uh, how we will split the uh, uh, responsibilities between us a bit later in the presentation. But first again over to you Henrik to present the IOF Office 2022. Thank you and um, just brief wanted to show this. Um, it's it's all at the, at the website as well. Um, so this is the team uh, that are, are aligned for, for this year and um, as you see on the top row, there are three new three new names, and um, the freshest one is uh, Aling Tisted, who's uh, joining us as a temporary communications manager. He's been working in the Danish um, Federation for uh, for actually seven years, so he's he's well experienced in the in the environment and orienteering as well. But uh, on the on the on the bottom row, we, we have Jenny and David. They have been around and uh, still are, will be still around. And um, and then we have Henrik Skoglund, who who work with event or in live support. So that's that's kind of the the fixed team. Um, and then looking into to VUC, who is our big who is our biggest project. Uh, we have some um, some contract basis. Um, resources, where Daniel Liebengut uh, act as a project manager, and um, and outlining the coming book, uh, we will it will remain like like last year that Aaron Les um, will maintain the primary context to um, to future organizer of book, uh, and we're looking to um, reinstate and and come back with more information. Uh, it's with the beginning of next year. Uh, towards VUC and also a bit actually towards World Cups, uh, Karel Jornak uh, is contracted to to uh, to do TV production and TV production planning. And um, another news is that the anti-doping world uh, work within the IOF. It's it's now outsourced to international testing agency. Um, so we don't have one person working as a as an anti-doping officer um, but uh, ita got all the the facts and, and what they need to to perform the work so they're already now planning uh, and will soon contact some of you um, who will host event this year to plan their in competition testings and so on And here's an example um, of a case of um, VUC 2022 in Denmark uh, with, uh, with the responsibilities, who, who does what. And um, connection to the, the internal responsibility, uh, I'll be, 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 be taking care of the operational leadership and the, the IF finances connected to the VUC. Um, in, in, in terms of bidding and organizing uh, organizers agreements and so on, uh, it's me. Um, I'll be working also hand on hands on with brand brand management, TV rights and and uh, arena signage and so on, and also all all the commercial partnerships and sponsors. Uh, I'm also the one who is in co contact with the medical experts. Uh, in yeah, when it's needed, so to say, and then um, we have we have the team uh, that I mentioned that have different area, um, and overall the project manager uh, and responsible for the whole VOC project is Daniel. Um, but we we really try to work as a team, uh, so uh, so the um, persons at the IOF office and the assistants, senior and advisors really fit into some areas. Uh, and here's the example how it will work towards VOC this year. And now I hand over the word to Sondre, uh, who can give explanation how, how your work will be performed during VOC. Yeah, so this is, uh, again, as Henrik said, it's just a case example, outlining a bit the uh, difference between what's Henrik's area of responsibility and my area of responsibility. 
And related to WOC, I uh, hold the uh, responsibility for WOC clinic and seminars for IOF family and VIP events, and then commission meetings, council meetings, and other IOF meetings. I, of course, also hold the responsibility for organizing the IOF General Assembly that will take part take place during uh, the WOC week. And uh, at the end here, I have the responsibility for external relations and partner events and host city and regional relations. And at the end here, I would just like to mention that uh, if you are uncertain uh, whether a matter relates to me or Henrik, just feel free to, to ask us and we will uh, try to clarify as best as we can. And uh, then I would just uh, like to say that I'm really looking forward to spending the evening together with you and tomorrow to learn more about our um, uh, high level events under the IOF. Thank you. Well, thank you, Henrik and Sondre. And uh, I can say that uh, you are really welcome in the in the IOF and this small team of event uh, organizers. OK, now we have some time for uh, questions. 